why do people go to university? It really hurts my heart, but in this video, you're going to hear some of the reasons why it might be good for you to go to university. In our recent interview, we talked to Scott, who works as a personal coach, and he shared his opinion why people go to university and why it's good for you. Welcome to our channel, How Real Life Works, where we talk about all the things that school doesn't teach you. I think maybe what we need to distinguish is people who go to university in order to get a job and people who go to university and then get a job. In other words, it does feel the return on investment is harder to justify, especially these days. If you're going to uh, university to get equipped to get a high-paying job, and you don't really care too much what the job is, so something rewarding, something that you like to do, there's lots of options for that apart from that. But I think there are really good reasons to go to university apart from getting a job. I hope that is why people do take that path, uh, not not just inertia, but also because you know for the reasons we've been talking about that there's. Um, uh, you know, a, a breath and a, those good things that come out of it. But it's not the only way to get those good things either, but it is uh, the traditional way. Like, it, and it is a setting that that lends itself quite well to certain types of learning. You know, one of the thing, my evaluations when I was uh, started out majoring in computer science is I started thinking about well, what is so I'm here. What is the best, the highest and best use of my time here? What what is uh, you know unique to this situation that um, I should try to take advantage of. And it turned out that I felt like philosophy was, and the humanities generally, was a more unique thing that I could do uh, and ways to learn with people, like discussing with uh, like-minded people who are also studying the same books. And now, th that is more difficult to replicate, uh, especially in the humanities, after university. Right. And, and that really uh, adds to the learning experience. And, and frankly, for me, actually, I'm not super academic, and so it was a good opportunity just to kind of force myself to read a lot of things that are good to read, <laughs> you right. know, and, <laughs> and have, it, have it read. And, uh, you know, so that, 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 was, I think that, that was part of it, too. Uh, it wasn't because I just love school or that I loved academia, or that I even that I loved philosophy. It wasn't actually that. It was it was more because of the uh, the ways that I thought that it would help me, you know, flourish. So, is that what you would say is the purpose of the university to help people flourish, or what do you think? Like in general, what should be the purpose? A lot of philosophy, you know, starting back uh, with uh, with Plato and Aristotle, like that, that is explicitly what it was about. It's about what is it, what does it mean to live a life well? And so, um, I think that is a good reason to go to university to think carefully about that. And that is a question that has been asked for many, many millennia, and people have thought hard about it and, and come down in different ways. You know, had different opinions about it, and those are all. Um, those are all useful for us. Do you have any advice for uh, young people that's choosing whether or not to go to uni right now or choosing their major at the moment? I see people get very stressed out about what they should major in. And I know they've probably heard this a thousand times, but it's really easy to change your major. And, and people... Um, often change the same nature. Like it's not, I think maybe I struggle with this a little bit. I think people do struggle with it, you know, that I, it means that I guessed wrong. I, I, I did the wrong, I did, I didn't, ah, oh, shucks, I got to change my major. And I, I don't know, like, just drop that. Like, that's fine. Um, I, I, I think it's fine to go on, go into university undecided. <laughs> just, like, just say undecided, you know, right. how could you know? So that would be one thing is I, I know that it's not that, quite that simple because there's specific programs if you think you want to be this thing and you then you've got to get into the right program and stuff like that so it's not quite that simple but honestly it would be if you're going to go to university play to the strengths of that setting think about 
uh, that, that's what I ended up doing, right, is I majored in philosophy and then took a specific program after that coaching school, specific program for, for that was more career-oriented. And um, that, that, that can make sense about um, kind of how to get the best of both worlds. So do you still want to go to university or not? Before you make a decision, you can consider signing up for an internship with us with How Real Life Works and we can teach you all that we know about creating a content. There's a sign up form below where you can submit and we can have a chat together. Before you go, thank you for watching and consider subscribing and turning on your notifications for our channel. Bye bye. Thank you.